In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory, or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of God is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear Jesus choosing his 12 apostles and sending them out. And uh, we see the diversity in the apostles. Uh, we have the fishermen, we have uh, you know, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, they're fishermen. But then we also have Matthew, the tax collector. And then we also have, um, we also have uh, Simon, the Canaanian, who's, who's a zealot for the law. And we also have Philip and Bartholomew, who are, have Greek names as well. So we see this diversity among the apostles, coming from different, uh, different places with different backgrounds and, and, and different temperaments and everything like that. So Jesus didn't choose a certain type of, of, of people um, to, to be his apostles, but it, very diverse, very diverse. And so that, that represents the church. The church is very diverse as well. We come from different backgrounds, we have different uh, points of view, different temperaments, different, uh, di di different way of thinking, and, 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 and so on. And, and that's what God likes. He likes diversity. Uh, he created us diverse so that we may complement each other. Our diversity is not, not supposed to be a, a source of division, but a source of complementarity. We can still have unity within diversity. St. Augustine said this, uh, in things essential, unity, in non-essentials, diversity, in all things, charity. <clears throat> and so we need to work together as, 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 a, as a parish, as a church, um, as Christians, and, and to recognize our differences, but also to, to use them to complement each other, to support each, up, each other, to build up the body of Christ. So sometimes diversity can, can be a source of irritation, but we should try to overcome that and try to unite ourselves and, and work together to build up the kingdom of God. We give you thanks, Jesus, for picking 12 very diverse apostles, which represents the church. Help us, too, to recognize our differences and to, uh, to work with each other, uh, to complement each other, to help each other build up your church and the kingdom of God. And, and to rejoice in, in our diversity as we still share in our unity. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.